Hey guys, it's Steve. Welcome back to another weekly Grill Dome video. So in late 2008, Jason Day from BarbecueAddicts.com created the popular bacon explosion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it up a little bit and then I'm going to make little miniature versions that are going to be excellent for parties, uh, tailgates, and camping, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. our lump charcoal lit here with our grill dome rapid light this only takes about eight nine minutes get a nice little fire going so we're gonna go ahead and remove this we're gonna be cooking these mini bacon explosions over an indirect setup so we're gonna use our indirect cooking rack in the down position with one of the grill dome ceramic stones on top of that And then using the Grill Dome Grill Gripper, we're just going to place the main cooking rack on. And our goal here is to get our Grill Dome up to about 225 to 250. And so all you have to do to achieve that, once you've got your uh, bottom and top vents wide open, to uh, let this thing start getting up to temp, you just want to dial those back to about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch on both the top and bottom. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and get our mini bacon explosions prepped here. The premise of this recipe is you're going to use either ground sausage or ground pork and then you're going to stuff it with whatever you want and then you're going to wrap it in bacon. So I'm going to be doing a Hawaiian theme here. So I've got some cheese, chopped red onions, some chopped uh, red green and yellow bell pepper, some pineapple. Just use some of your favorite barbecue rub, and then you want to use a sweet barbecue sauce for these Hawaiian bacon explosions. So you want to make a patty that's going to be big enough that you can fit all of your fillings inside and have room to roll it all up. So about like this. Okay, so we're just going to kind of push that out a little bit. Now I'm just going to take a couple pieces of ham, lay it in there like that, and then in no particular order we're just going to take some of our red onions, some of our bell peppers, some pineapple, some shredded cheddar cheese, some barbecue rub, and then we're just gonna add a little some sweet barbecue sauce. All right, now the trick here, and this can get a little messy, is you just wanna take this all up and wrap it over, kind of squish some of that in. Sometimes some of it falls out, that's okay. You're gonna end up securing it all with the bacon. Okay, and kind of pick this up and just keep forming it. All right, so that's all we're looking for. So we got a nice little kind of football shape here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bacon and just start wrapping this guy. All right, so there we go. I ended up going with four pieces of bacon here to get it nice and covered. So you can see going all the way around it. And that's what you end up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of these and I'll meet you outside at the grill dome. Okay, here we go. So we've got our grill dome preheated to 225. And we're just gonna go ahead and take our mini bacon explosions and just set them right in the middle, directly above the ceramic stone just like this got made the kids a little mini mini one throw that on the side and we're gonna get the lid shut and these are probably gonna go about an hour we'll check on them then all right guys I just checked the temp on these it's been an hour and 15 minutes you want the internal temp to be right around 160 since we've got some ground pork we're cooking bacon starting to get uh, 
a nice uh, golden brown color to it. So we probably got about 15 minutes left. So what you want to do at this point is just take some of your sweet barbecue sauce and just drizzle these all over the top. Just like that. And we're going to shut the lid and let these go just for 15 more minutes. Alright guys, it has been another 15 minutes and these guys are done. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these and I'll pick back up in the kitchen so we can slice into these. Alright guys, here we go. These have rested for just about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and slice into one of these. And let me go ahead and show you that right there. Check that out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. See how all the cheese melted nicely, the pork and the bacon cooked perfectly. Go ahead and try this out. Cut off a little piece. And these are great for really any meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. See that right there? Man. Mmm. Gosh, that's so good. So much flavor with all the ingredients. Definitely experiment with these. Stuff them with whatever you want. You can really get creative with these. So, a uh, fairly straightforward recipe. And uh, definitely uh, let us know what you think about this. And please subscribe to our uh, channel and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And again, every Friday, new videos on our channel. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon.